Do you know what, guys? My day has been going okay. I went for a walk today, and I got some tea with me right now. Nothing could ruin this day for me. She's got a body like a coke fan. She likes to keep the party going. Baby, show me. How to jump off a cliff. Oh, they've even got how to jump a cliff. Tutorial for beginners. Well, I, I'm not looking to go pro by doing this, you know what I mean? Like, the whole concept of this video is so weird. Like, they're just, they're just fighting, and then this guy just comes into the ring with a mouth on his chest with a tongue coming out of it. Am I the only one? who thinks that's a little bit weird if I saw that. Why is nobody questioning this? My IRL friend told my parents about my channel, and now I'm emotionless. Oh, that's so sad. They told me that my videos were bad, but I tried hard. Gacha he isn't bad because it's natural. So frig that friend, it's her fault that I'm emotionless and sad. Oh, God help you, my heart bleeds for you. But okay, listen here, gacha kids. You need to go outside and honestly touch some grass. If you have a gacha heat channel, then you need to get your priorities straight with what is important. I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm just trying to help you here. <laughs> this is the funniest thing about gacha cringe kids, is that they think they always write the most heart-wrenching stories when it's literally just like sobs. Everyone now knows that I'm spaghetti. <laughs> It's just like, I, why is that? Why would you do that? <laughs> so, so stupid. I mean, my heart bleeds for you that now everyone knows that you are this. I mean, it, oh, it's so stupid. I can't with the title. You're just like a coconut. I watched the video and it was gay couples. Ah, yes, the really good story. You're just like a coconut. Man, that is so romantic. I don't know how I would respond personally if someone said, Hey, you remind me of a coconut. A hairy brown ball with milk inside. Yes, how how very romantic. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are looking at some gacha cringe. Is it necessarily cringe? I don't know, but I saw it and I was just like, Do you know what, God? Just strike me down. I do not want to be on this planet anymore. But a good king, that's me, King Simp, is not gonna go down without a fight when it comes to these gacha cringe kids because, ooh, they, they need to have an angry letter from me sent to them, just telling them how bad they are. Also, I just want to say thank you, Gregory. I can't pronounce your Twitter handle for the fan art. It's really cool. It's nice when people do fan art of me. I appreciate it, and it means a lot. Even got the King Simp crown over here. Nice. Also, quick disclaimer, don't harass anyone in the Gatch community. Not all of them are bad. I just do these videos for fun. Like and subscribe, it is absolutely free. Comment something down below and I'll answer it in the next video. Let's go. Man, I would have loved to have met the kid. Actually, no, I wouldn't have loved to have met the kid who made this. But at the same time, who would have thought to himself, oh man, what can I call this guy? Yeah, we'll call him Big Ass Diaper. I guess it's meant to be Big Ass Diaper, but it's Big Ass. They couldn't even spell the name right, and then they just got Hair Eater. These kids are weird, man. And then at the end, you just got this glob. Like, it's an actual glob. Apparently, that's meant to be us watching this. We get this messed up, morphed body. It's absolute spaghetti. I mean, what is... What, what even is that arm? It... it, it Jesus, <laughs> what is that? Say it with me, gay couples are just normal couples and calling them cute because they are gay is weird. Right, okay, teacher Ben is in session. Gather around you stupid gacha kids because I'm gonna educate you. For anyone who thinks doing something like this is good, it's not, it completely invalidates someone because no longer does it mean anything if they're a nice person or interesting. You're only talking to them or having any interest in them because of what their orientation is towards who they're attracted to. Because you have a warped outlook on what's really important in the world when it comes to meeting new people. Stop being stupid. Gay people and anyone in the LGBTQ are just like the rest of us and we all suck. Woohoo! Got, got a little bit serious there. <laughs> Selling your child should not be glorified, no matter who has bought them. <laughs> when was selling your child ever, like, the cool, hip thing to do? But obviously, you sold me for five million. I mean, honestly, like, who, what kid is worth, like, five million? Shut up. 
It's even got here, you know, her mom showing her the buyer. Oh man, who who is gonna be the, the mystical buyer who is buying kids? Like that is that is so weird to say. Like, is anyone else just like really concerned by some dude just buying kids? <laughs> what? Oh, it was it was Tommy in it. Tommy in it is just out here buying kids for some reason. I could just totally see how his stream would be going when he did that. Mom! I just bought a small child. <laughs> Epic Pog Champ. The kid <laughs> the kid's just excited to go. Like, hey, Mom, this I, I thanks for selling me, your child, to this other child. <laughs> like, what? Oh man, this is this is a bad one. He looks gay. I agree. I was diagnosed with the gay. Jesus, can you, since when was being gay an illness or like some sort of disease? Can you imagine going to the doctor and being like, I'm going to have to sit you down for this. You have been diagnosed with the gay. There is no cure. It is a life condition. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> like, it is, it is just so stupid. The more you say it, the gay, the, the more ridiculous it sounds that these kids honestly think that this is, like, some sort of disease. Like, oh, well, you've got... Sorry, boys. Can't come out tonight. I've got the gay. Like, if you are obsessed this much over people who are in the LGBTQ, then you need to just reevaluate your life priorities of what is important. Stay strong, my LGBTQ gamer virgins, as you will not allow gacha cringe kids to uh, ever invalidate who you are. So here we have a crazy gacha story, you know, context in caption. The little girl goes to her parents, obviously she's like, Mom, Dad, guess what? And obviously they're going to be like, you know, hey, you know, what is, what is it, honey? What is wrong with you today? And then she comes out with, you know, she's a lesbian. It's like, oh, Jesus, like, you know, what? What a, a intense plot twist. Oh my god. And then the dad, at first when I read this, I thought he might be saying like, you know, get out of here. here. Like, what? Like, you know, get out. How you got the gay? It's like, no. You know, he's like, you know, get out of my house. I don't want you in my house. And then, then the mom is just like, me too. I, I'm also a lesbian. And <laughs> that's, that's these kids' crazy stories. It's, it's something else. Like, I just don't understand... Who is making this and like being like, yeah, this is such a good story. I can't wait to post this. Like, come on. <laughs> You've been a bad gym. <laughs> Why would you do this in the office? You've just completely ruined this for me. Like Dwight slapping Jim. That that's terrible. This is oh awful. Oh man, gacha cringe forever burning my eyes out. I hope you all enjoyed the video. It's getting pretty hard to record gacha videos as I don't think YouTube really likes these style of videos anymore and just the stuff I'm finding is honestly just really bad. But I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless. Have a great day guys and I will see you all next time.